so happy that you could make it today. I am your hygienist, Kat, and I'll just have you have a seat here, right in the chair, and just sit down and relax. I'm just going to drape you, and I'm going to get some information from you, and um, then we'll go ahead and get started. I just want to know if you're nervous about getting your teeth cleaned today. Okay, so you enjoy it. Okay, great. Well, you had a bad experience before, and then you started liking it after. Okay, wonderful. I know we're not going to be doing any drilling today, so you don't have to worry. Just relax. Um, I'm just going to drape you. Okay, I'm just going to get my light down on you like that. Is that too bright for you? Okay, I'm just going to have you put these glasses on. Yeah. Perfect. Just going to move your chair a little bit down. Alright. So I'm just going to get my stuff out here. Um, is there any teeth that have been giving you any issues? Okay, just some sensitivity. Okay. Um... Do you eat a lot of acidic foods or um, any, a lot of sugars? Oh, you like the lemon water. Okay, yeah, that will do it. Um, you can try drinking it from a straw. Um, that should work. And when you have, when you eat something acidic, like citrus fruit, um, try to wait 30 minutes before brushing your teeth and do a rinse in your mouth. To get rid of that excess um, acidic from the oranges and the lemons or the grapefruit. No, well, grapefruit is not as acidic. Um, it's more pH than the oranges, so you should be fine with that. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and look through your teeth, see what's going on here before we get started. So are you going anywhere this summer? Oh, that's nice. Did you get your flight tickets already? Oh, okay. Well, I heard that there is a sale on um, on that one website. I think it's cheapflights.com. And they are having a summer special right now, if I'm not mistaken. And, um... You might want to get them from there, and if you're doing two-way or one-way, uh, one-way is obviously always cheaper, but you need both ways back all these days, so yeah, there's a lot of different places you can check. Okay, so I'm just going to have you open your mouth as wide as you can. I'm just going to fix my light fixture here. Okay, perfect. All right. I'm just going to go in with my scaler. I'm just going to be chucking around your teeth. Alright? And just let me know if you feel any pain or sensitivity in that area, okay? Okay, I do see that you have some recession on the bottom part of your teeth in the incisors. Okay, yeah, so um, recession is possibly like when you're brushing too hard or if you're not using a soft toothbrush. You always have to make sure you're using a soft toothbrush. Um, sometimes it's just over time. Uh, can be genetics play a huge role like also with your teeth and um, you, you know you're gonna have to take extra care of them um, you know I'm seeing a lot of patients that have come in and it's just sometimes it's just the genetics like because if your teeth are close together you're gonna have like some more issues you're gonna have to floss more you're going to have to brush more opposed to someone that has um, their teeth more spread apart, you know, because food's not going to get trapped in there 
as much. Um, but yeah, the recession is just from heavy brushing, brushing too hard. So you might want to um, replace that with flossing or you might want to get like a uh, water pick because that can help get rid of um, teeth, stuff between the teeth as well. And um, try flossing like twice a day. I know I have to because my teeth are very close together. So I have to constantly be flossing. Um, so I'm just going to check one more thing. I'm just going to put my probe and see where the level is at. So it's not too bad. You're at it too. Um, you should also be using a good mouthwash because that will also help with that. Um, any, I forgot to ask you, is there any other um, health issues or anything? Nothing. Okay, healthy. Okay, good. Um, another tip is um, vitamin C. So vitamin C plays a huge role in your gum health. Um, it's not talked about enough, but uh, vitamin C deficiencies will show up when gums are bleeding. Um, gum, gum bleeding can be from gingivitis as well. But in a lot of my patients, when they start taking vitamin C, it helps reduce that. Um, also, hormones can play a role in your gum health and your teeth, um, especially being a female too, right? Yeah, and then changing your toothbrush every three months. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we're just going to have you open wide. I'm just going to be going in and scaling on your teeth here. How does that feel so far? Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad on the outside, on the occlusal side. Yeah, you find the buildup is more on the bottom. Yeah, that's where I get it too. Just gonna put that in just like that. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to section you off. Okay, just get all that access out. So close your mouth. Bring the spit in there. All right, perfect. Doing okay? Awesome. All right. Yeah, you did have some access right there on your um, back molar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you gotta make sure you're getting back there every night in your brushing. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put the uh, section back in the mouth, so just close. And yep, just get everything out. I'm just going to put some water in there too to get all that and rinse. Okay, I'm going to spit it out. Okay, perfect. All right. Alright, so I'm going in on the top. 
Oh, that is a little bit sense. Okay, I'm sorry about that. I will try not to go that deep, okay? You just open your mouth wide and just stick your tongue over to the side, just like that. Awesome. Yeah, just get right in there. Mm -hmm. Just let me know if you need a break. We're like halfway through and you're doing great. And you're gonna feel so much better after this teeth cleaning. It feels so amazing after. And I have some special treats for you after. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that back in your mouth and close. And get that after. Perfect. You're doing awesome. All right, I'm just gonna adjust. All right, now we're gonna go in on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's, uh, it's been so busy. Yeah, uh, I've probably had eight patients so far. You're my ninth. Mm -hmm. Everyone's been great. You know, cleaning, it's, the cleanings are not as bad. I think it's just the fillings. I mean, some of the noises can be a little bit intimidating, but when you have somebody that cares and that's, you know, um, calming, I think it just makes it go by faster. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna put this back in your mouth, this section, and I will just have you sit. I know you are bleeding a little bit, like I said, like um, you might wanna double up on your vitamin C. Um, there's a good one. It's a powder form. Um, I can show you like at the desk after when you're leaving. Mm -hmm. Okay, open big. All right. sections back in and close we are almost done I just have one more section to do and you will be down to the polishing all right I'm just going to be using my pigtail here doing on time. Okay, excellent. You're doing perfect. Yeah, everyone's back to back as people are going away and they all want to come in, you know, to get their teeth clean. They have events to go to. I have one person coming in for a teeth whitening today. Um, but I'll be doing that with just strawberries and baking soda because their teeth are extremely sensitive. They've been whitening their teeth for so long. So I made up my own solution. 
Um, if you're interested in that too, um, I can offer that. Okay, so just close your mouth. I'm just going to put the suction in and spit everything. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm on my last section here, okay? Ooh, this wasn't as bad as the last time, which is great. Mm -hmm. So just move your tongue a little bit over so I can get right in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm just going to go over your incisors and your occlusal area just slightly to make sure that I did not get any spots. Just like that. Uh, do you have any pain or sensitivity? Okay, perfect. Hmm. Alright, and now I'm just going to go over the top. Okay, you want to spit a little bit? Okay. Um, I'm going to put the water in your mouth first. Okay, there you go. You can spit everything in there. Perfect. Okay. Alright, I'm um, just going to grab my polisher. And the polish. Oh, we are going to get you all polished. Mm -hmm. All right. polish on your teeth and then later we're going to go over it with the I'm going to put the solution first then we're going over everything with the polisher yes this is bubblegum flavor no fluoride after okay I understand yep fluoride's got its bad things You know, in school they teach us that it prevents cavities and it's good, but they don't tell you the bad side of it. Alright, last spot. Okay, now I'm going to be going in with the polisher. This one's really quiet. So it's not going to be too loud. You're doing great. We're almost done. And you'll be well on your way. And we'll see you in six months. Mm -hmm. All right, and I'm just going to do the bottom part. Awesome. Yeah. Hmm. All right, I am going to put the water in your mouth again and 
you're just going to spit everything in there, okay? So just let me rinse first. Okay, and spit and the section. Perfect. I'm just gonna get rinse one more time in there and then you can go to the sink after, okay? Okay, and spit. Okay, perfect. Um, I am just going to go over with the, some floss um, just to get those areas in between because you do have um, close contact teeth. So I just want you to open your mouth. I'm going to get in there. That's perfect. Nothing is there. It's coming out clean. And I'm just going to do the bottom ones. Awesome. Okay. You're all ready to go. Um, I have to go to a next patient. So um, I'm just going to give you everything right now. Um, you know, you are very awesome today. So I'm going to give you a toothpaste, um, a gum massager. It looks like we are out of toothbrushes. Um, if you did want to come back before your trip, I can give you, um, we're getting some in tomorrow, so I can give you a toothbrush. So I'm going to give you these two, and then since you're going away, I will give you a toothbrush protector so you don't have to like wrap it up in tissue or anything so this just goes over your toothbrush and um, you take it off like when you want to brush your teeth gum massager you know how to use that you just after you brush your teeth you just massage your gums it's gonna really help with the recession and it's really healthy for your gums it gets the blood flowing there and then um, this toothpaste so you're on your way and I will just take those glasses back to you and I think the doctor would like to see you um, just to make sure everything's going well because it has been two years since you've had some x-rays and uh, thank you so much. Bye-bye. Um,